Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Look, this is my Flash Forge Creator Pro right behind me, and I need to upgrade the nozzles. I've got these, these specially treated nozzles so I can send exotic filaments through the hot ends. You wanna know how to do it? Good, because I'm gonna show you. You ready? Go. Replacing the nozzles on the Flash Forge Creator Pro is surprisingly easy. First, what we need to do is remove the carriage from the rails. We hoist that above the machine and we put it on a small platform so it doesn't fall down. We then undo the nozzles from the heater blocks. We replace them with these awesome new nozzles that I got from Protopasta. We put it all back together and then we send exotic filaments through the Flash Forge. That's, I can't wait. I'm going to print carbon fiber. I'm going to print stainless steel. I'm going to print you know, I'm gonna print whatever I want at this point. All right, let's get started. Here we go. This is a slightly difficult shot to get, but I think I'm able to get it. There's a screw right there, and there's a screw right there, and those are the two screws that need to be removed in order to take the carriage off of the rails, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. There's one. You see that? There it is, it's tiny. Now we gotta get the other. Hey look, there's the second tiny little screw. At this point, the heater carriage is free and can lift right out. One thing I forgot to mention, you wanna make sure that you've taken the filament out and you've heated the hot ends a little bit, which I have done. In order to get the nozzle off, you just need to grab the heater block with something to make sure it doesn't spin and then twist with a nine millimeter Wrench, there, wait, wrench. And there it is with the PTFE tubing attached to it. And there it is with the PTFE tube. Pretty simple. Here we go. So take the PTFE tubing out, get your shiny new nozzle, put the tubing in, put it back in the hole. Now we just have to do the same thing to the other one. Here it is, tube comes out, new extruder head goes in, goes into the hole, screw it down. All right, that seems to be pretty tight on there. Hey! <laughs> Nozzles are tight. New stuff is in. 
Let's put it back together. Putting it together always is my favorite part of doing this because it means it's gonna be usable again. So here's a little trick. Once you've got your extruder in, any, or your, your carriage in, uh, to balance the sides so they're level instead of instead of trying to move the bed and adjust the nozzles and stuff what i found is you can put a small piece of something on one side and then tighten it up i happen to use foil what happens is the nozzles have to be level and if one is slightly not level then one nozzle drags across the print while the other's printing and it's just sad. So I found that that small piece of foil keeps the nozzles level and it prints well. All right, let's load filament. Filament loaded, nozzles on and heated up, everything extruded just fine in the test extrusion. I think we're good to go. That's how you replace the nozzles on your FlashForge Creator Pro. Look, it's a short video, but it's not a hard process. That's great. Like this video if this helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more awesome things. And as always, high five.